So my name is Juan Cruz and I studied at Vansayen for two years. I was lucky enough to study there and uh, spend a good deal of time uh, training bonsai there. Uh, what I really liked about Mansayen is that we would get trees from many different artists from around Japan that would want to put their uh, bonsai there for consignment and for sale. So this really allowed me to uh, study their particular styles uh, of each individual artist and uh, from the different regions of Japan as well. So one of the things that really surprised me about the uh, styling bonsai here in Japan was that it wasn't so much about what type of particular style or what type of uh, particular technique you were to use. It wasn't so much about that. It was more about keeping the health and you know, make it more natural. I came to understand that there's no such thing as rules in bonsai. There's no particular rules. It's just suggestions. So all the what I used to think as rules, like you know, you have to have only two branches spreading out, and you know, no fork branches coming out of uh, a tree or no internal um, inside the curb branches. Uh, that wasn't so much the, the, the key to styling a bonsai here. It was more if the tree needed that branch, then it was kept. If it wasn't needed, then we would try to see how else we would use it before we cut it off. Whereas in the US we tend to cut and try to style the tree later. Uh, here is more trying to use as much as you can from the tree and keep it more of a natural uh, style than we do in the U.S. So my hope is to um, eventually uh, try to bring up the quality of bonsai in the U.S. and that's my whole goal was to come to Japan, study study a little bit more about how to style a bonsai, what the particular uh, styles and um, techniques that we have here in Japan and bring some of the learnings back to the US and hopefully bring up the quality of bonsai even more uh, than what it is now in the future. I think the worst thing probably is that we're still very young in our knowledge and so we need to um, you know just get more experience with it uh, there are a few people that have taken it to the next level and I think we need to learn from those people uh, although everybody has their own particular style that they've learned when they came to Japan and uh, from their different masters and so we just need to understand that everybody has slightly different style than another teacher so even if one teacher will tell you to do one thing a particular way uh, another teacher may come and say something different it doesn't mean that the previous or the current teacher is wrong it just means that that is what they think maybe that tree needs at that time and so we just need to be a little bit more understanding about styles and uh, individuality of teachers and bonsai One of the things that I think is, is good about American bonsai is that uh, we tend to be very inclusive uh, in that it doesn't matter uh, where do you come from, how much experience you have or don't have, uh, you're able to easily join a club and they will take you in almost as a family member. So I think that's, that's the wonderful thing about American bonsai.